Hi there everyone and welcome back to the channel. This video is a build guide for the AOS Cine series of frames. We're going to be looking at the Cine 20, 25, 30 and 35 in this video. I'm going to do another video for the Cine 40 because it's slightly different. These frames are all incredibly easy to build, but it never hurts to have a few tips and tricks along the way. So I'm going to be taking you through the whole build of the frame from start to finish. Let's not waste any more time. Let's dive right into it. Make sure to check out the links down in the video description for tuning guides, recommended parts and 3D prints for all of these frames. Let's start by building up the brand new 7000 series aluminium camera cage. And for this, you'll need the two camera cage parts, the two soft mount camera plates and potentially the two hard mount camera plates. If you're building for DJI 03, you're going to be using the two soft mount camera plates with the two included silicon gummies. If you're wanting to hard mount a 19 millimeter analog FPV camera say, then you are also going to use the two hard mount camera plates as well. If you're mounting some other type of camera, maybe a 14 millimeter camera, there are loads of 3D prints available that fit these soft mount camera plates and that'll make sure that you can get the camera mounted exactly the way you want to. Firstly, you're going to set up the two camera cage parts back to back like this. And don't worry, they're completely identical and symmetric. So provided they look back to back like this, then you've got them the right way around. Then you're going to drop the two soft mount camera plates onto the camera cage parts like this. And they just stud in there. And if you're hard mounting an analog FPV camera, you're also going to stack the hard mount plate on top of the soft mount plate to make a thicker stack like this. And you're going to have to decide whether you want the two holes for the camera mounting to the rear or to the front of the cage. And that's going to depend on how the mounting holes are laid out for your camera. I'm going to be building for DJI 03, so I'm just going to be putting the soft mount plate in. Once you've decided on your stack, you're going to take the screws. So if you're just using the soft mount plate, you're going to be using the M2 by 4 millimeter countersunk screws. And if you're using the hard mount plate as well, then you're going to want to use the M2 by 6 millimeter countersunk screws. Once you pick the right screws, you're just going to want to drop them into the camera plate and then screw them gently into the camera cage. Now, 7000 series aluminium is pretty tough, but these are small screws. So you don't want to use too much torque when you're tightening these up. Just do them up just gently and you can see that I'm holding the screwdriver by this sort of thin shaft here so that I don't apply too much torque to these screws and I don't risk stripping them out. If you're assembling the hard mount camera cage, then you're just going to want to drop the slightly longer M2 by 6 millimeter countersunk screw down through both plates in the stack and then again just gently screw it into the camera cage. It will be obvious to you when you're assembling these, but just make sure the countersink is uppermost on the plates when you assemble them so that the countersunk screws end up nice and flush with the carbon fiber plate. Once you have the two halves of the camera cage assembled, you can just kind of drop the soft mount silicon gummies in and put these two parts to one side while we move on with building the rest of the frame. Before you start assembling the main plate, you want to make sure it's the right way up. One side of the main plate should have press nuts sticking out of it and there shouldn't be anything on the other side of the main plate. You want to put the main plate down on the bench so that the press nuts are sticking up towards you. And if you run your fingers over the main plate, you should be able to feel all the press nuts sticking up out of the plate. This is the way up you need to have the main plate for the next part of the build. Now let's move on to building up the main frame. This is the Cine 30 main plate, but the Cine 20, 25 and 35 all go together in a very similar way. We're going to start by installing all of the standoffs that go around the edge of the frame. So this is the front of the frame up the top here and you can tell because it's got the two closely spaced holes for the camera cage. We're going to start by putting in all the standoffs. So you're going to need all of the medium length M2 button head screws that come with your kit and you're just going to slot them through the ends of the arms initially and then finger tight screw on a standoff. Repeat for all four corners of the frame. Once you've done all four corners, and it is easy enough just to do these up by hand, we need to do the two standoffs at the rear of the frame. If you're building the Cine 3.5, at this point you'll notice that the rear two standoffs on the Cine 3.5 are M3. So you're going to be using the medium length M3 button head screws and the M3 standoffs. Also, the next two standoffs we're going to do, which are in the middle of the frame, are also M3 on the Cine 3.5 but on the Cine 30, which is what I'm building, they're M2. The next two standoffs are in the middle and 
it's just exactly the same. Slot the screw through and then do the stand up, up, standoff up finger tight. The final two standoffs are in between the motors front to rear. And after this, you should have 10 standoffs installed on the main plate. Now we're going to install the camera cage onto the main plate. So take the two camera cage parts that you assembled earlier and you want to make sure it might be easier just to take out the silicon gummies for now. You might want to just want to make sure that the two carbon plates are facing inwards. So they're facing towards each other when you put them down on the main plate. And then you're going to want to screw the camera cage parts together using the shorter M2 button head screws that come with your kit. Again, when installing the camera cage, just don't over tighten these M2 screws. Just hold the screwdriver by the shaft and just do them up nice and snug. Obviously, you do not want to strip out the aluminium camera cage and these are only small M2 screws. Now it's time to install our stack screws. And these Cineframes are primarily designed for a 25 millimeter all-in-one flight controller and ESC. You'll see that there are four reinforced press nuts here for your stack screws. And you're just gonna to want to take the longer M2 screws in your kit and just run them through these press nuts and down into the space between the plates. Because these screws go into press nuts and those press nuts are steel, you can use a little bit more torque when you're tightening them up and that's gonna make sure the screws are nice and secure. I would hold the screwdriver with just two fingers and apply torque to the handle like this. That's gonna mean that you apply the right amount and you're not gonna strip the screws out but you're also gonna make sure they're nice and tight. You'll notice that we've got the four screws in a diamond pattern here, and that's for two reasons. One is to do with maximizing prop clearance to the electronics, and the second is because this is actually the orientation that gives you the best vibration performance with this particular frame layout. Now is the perfect time to install your motors, the all-in-one flight controller, and your receiver. But we're gonna leave the VTX till a little bit later on in the build. Now it's time to install the prop guards, and these go on really nice and easily. Just check that you've got the two mounting holes at the front. We're gonna secure the prop guards with six screws around the edge, and we're gonna leave the middle eight screws for later on. Again, you're just gonna to want to use the medium length M2 screws. Once the prop guards are installed, you're gonna mount your VTX to the base plate, and then just install the base plate onto the bottom to complete the build. And again, we're gonna be using the medium length M2 screws for this. If you're building the Cine 3.5, you'll find that the four screws at the rear and the middle of the frame are M3 rather than M2, so just go ahead and use the medium length M3 screws here. With this, the frame is nearly complete. We're just gonna flip it over and install the battery plate on the top. To install the battery plate, you're gonna use the longer M2 by eight millimeter screws and the M2 spacers that come in the kit. You're just gonna to want to slot the four countersunk screws through the battery plate and then putting the spacers between the battery plate and the press nuts in the top plate, just to stand off the battery plate slightly. And that's gonna mean that when you screw it down, you'll have space to install the battery strap under it. And with that, your AOS Cine frame build is complete. If you're building the Cine 3.5, you're gonna be using M3 countersunk screws and spacers for the battery plate rather than M2, but the assembly process is exactly the same. Don't forget to check out the links down in the video description for tuning guides, recommended parts, and 3D prints for all of these frames. And until next time, I wish you all very, very happy flying.